Let's Talk Jinx, a weekly Jinx video we do every Wednesday about anything to do with Jinx, as well as this video acting as a weekly discussion thread on the Jinx subreddit r slash League of Jinx, make sure to go check that out. And for today's video, every two weeks, we talk about a new patch when it hits, changes to Jinx, other AD carries because of the matchup changes, and then something of a pseudo AD carry tier list with your input included in the comment section down below to round out the video. So without further ado, let's just jump into patch 9.16 which saw no direct changes to Jinx, but changes to other AD carries and supports that might change the bot lane matchups or when you're pairing with these supports for Jinx. Honorable mentions to Pantheon, because people did play Pantheon support, so they're probably gonna try out the rework that's coming this patch to play rework Pantheon support. Just try to bear with it as best you can. And then also Corky, who is more of a mid laner, but we have seen him bot lane on occasion. So his base attack damage and attack growth are decreased. That might make trading a bit better if you do see him down there, for whatever reason. Getting into more traditional marksmen that we see down there, like Ezreal, the Q AP ratio has been decreased and the E cooldown's been increased. Meaning that if he's building that mixed damage build, the Q's gonna be doing a little bit less damage, but in lane, with the E arcane shift going up in cooldown a whole six seconds, it means with a more hard engaged support, you might have more of a window to actually try and catch him and all in him, with like a Leona, Blitzcrank, Braum, Thresh, stuff like that. Lux's W shield's been increased late, so it doesn't really affect the lane matchup at all, either playing against Lux support or playing with Lux support. It's more of an out of lane thing, but it is worth mentioning that might be why people start playing it again, because they want to kind of maybe make use of that. Another change we see is Sivir. The WAD ratio has been decreased early, meaning that if she tries to do the whole like perma shove you under tower and scale up that way method, it's going to be a little bit harder to do with the changes to the uh, percent attack damage or the percentage of the attack damage that is being done. Also, because you're Jinx, you can outrange her with the rockets as that goes on. Since Silver will not be maxing this ability first, it's still the Q at this point in time, and as such, you can auto space her. And this ability is a little bit worse for her to power shove and try to default to that route, so you might be able to win this lane a bit harder than you already do. Tom Kench's base movement speeds being decreased and the E shield durations being decreased, meaning again, if you're playing against the Tom Kench support, the all-in, you might be able to focus him instead and he's gonna be a bit squishier and able to be killed. With that also being said, I don't really see Tom Kench that much, so I'm not entirely sure if that's really gonna be a thing, but we'll see. And when it comes to Yumi, the Q and power damage is decreased late, the slow decreased, and the slow duration flattened, cooldown increased early. What this could mean, depending on how you play with a Yumi support, if you're someone who likes to step up so Yumi can harass with her Q, it means that damage is going to be down a little bit, and maybe you switch to more of a passive playstyle, like with a Janna or something, where you play with the, hey, survive and just scale up, and then we'll take over the mid to late game instead. And I say that because depending who you ask, with the way you can damage with her Q, some people like stepping up with that and trying to maybe harass people with that, and then Jinx's rocket range as well, and actually trying to like win the lane with how much poke you can get down. So, depending on how that actually lands, that could be how that matchup changes, at least uh, with it. Against it, again, it's like less damage will be taken with the Q, so keep that in mind. But now to get to the part of the video you're probably here for, the AD carry tier list. Now I say it's a pseudo AD carry tier list because based off of feedback, what we tend to do is we take these changes, apply them to say a site like champion.gg, the current standings we see, and see if there's any like major changes that will shake up the meta, or will the AD carries that are already strong going into this patch probably stay the same and as such you can already know that. So that being said, a lot of the changes were actually to supports not really 80 carries. There was like the Ezreal change, and it's kind of a nerf actually. He's already down at like a 48% win rate at the point of recording this video, so that's gonna just hurt him that much more. Sivir's a more interesting one, because she fell out of the top three according to this at least, and it might push her down a little bit more and allow her to be a bit more bullied by something like the Draven, who's quietly been in the top five for a couple of these videos now, if you will recall. Twitch Jinkin, Twitch Jink, yes, Jink, by the way. That's a new champion. August's new champion, Jin, Jinx, and now Jink. Uh, Twitch, Jinx, and Jin have been the top three going into this last patch. Like, I kind of, we all, we said this in the last video, it was going to happen. And now, probably still will remain that none of them are being nerfed, and there's no significant changes that really will affect them personally. So, with that being said, your top tier AD carries are going to probably stay the same from patch 9.15. At least according to this list, for example, the things like the Twitch, Jinx, Jin, and then maybe you could say Sivir will fall down to like A tier, and like Draven's quietly there as well. Everything else would probably fall. It could be an A tier if you say, hey, it's above 50% win rate. That's good enough for A tier. By that logic, Bane, Ash, and Zaya are your go-tos. Everything else is below 50% win rate. 
but not necessarily bad, right? Like, you can say Caitlyn and Tristana right now are a worst version of Jinx if, like, Jinx is banned or taken away from you, and those can maybe substitute for what a lot of Jinx currently does. Now, are they as powerful? No, but if there are the same enough playstyle that you might be able to get away with it if you can't pick Jinx, no. But you know what? Optimistically, yes. So, with that being said, that's an example of like a pseudo AD carry tier list. Here's me presenting some data for you guys. And again, in the comment section down below, comment with your ELO and what your tier list would be based off of these changes so you can kind of help each other out, right? Like if you're platinum and you put yours down there, maybe another platinum player that watches the video and reads the comments can be like, hey, I agree with this list. What do you think about this? And you have conversations with each other and then Jinx mains can kind of help each other climb as we're nearing the end of the season. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know what you do be next, because I can have a lot of kinks. So until this time, take care. GG, get jinx. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.